Welcome to Mornings in the Lark. How are you guys doing this morning? Last night was crazy, right? Okay, some of you guys had a chance to vent last night, and uh, some of you guys had a chance to rejoice last night. Hey, wherever you're at, whatever political stance you take, listen, there's this one thing that I want to share this morning about the election. Today is the next day after the battle, and that is the most important day. I was taught by a mentor of mine, it's not the day of the battle, it's the day after the battle. And I got a great scripture for you. It's this, Psalms 51.10. It says this, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Some translations say a right spirit. Steadfast spirit. Okay? And what is steadfast? What's a steadfast spirit? It's a spirit that is firm in purpose, a spirit that is fixed in a direction, one direction. And so I just want to encourage you, hey, listen. All right, it's a day after, okay? You have a choice today to have a pure heart. You have a choice today to have a clean heart, all right? If you're happy about it, great. Be, um, don't be a sore winner. If you're upset about the election, don't be a sore loser, okay? As Christians, we cannot be derailed from having a right heart, a pure heart, a steadfast heart. And the most important thing for us to do is be Jesus with skin on, all right? So, the, it's already done. We have President Obama's gonna be in there for the next four years. So, encourage, pray for a president, love the president. You don't have to love all his decision making, but you do have to respect him, okay, and love him. And be Christ-like today, all right? Use this as a chance to, um, I don't want to say enemies, love your enemies, but maybe love those who disagree with you. Maybe love those who annoy you. And maybe don't rub it in, all right? Because I know some of you guys might want to rub it in today. All right, don't do that. But let's be loving. Let's. What is our first thing that we need to do? We need to be pure in heart and have a steadfast heart. And what we need to do is have that steadfast spirit so that when we go out, we, we're going to change our community. We're going to change our work environment. It's because of the Spirit of God that's in us. All right, there are things that are not in your control to change. Like last night, you might feel like everything's out of your control. It is, but God's in control. And you're in control of your heart. And you're in control of your spirit. So make a difference in people's lives today, okay? Have a great day. This is Eric coming to you from Mornings in the Lark. i got to prove it to you. Skylark Custom in out. All right, hey, guys. I love you so much. Have a great day. Stay strong. I'm out. I'm going to read a scripture again. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I'm out. Later.